this polynomial division business is a little bit more fun than we expected. So let's keep going. So let's say that, I guess again, someone walks up to you in the street and says, what is x squared plus one divided by x plus two? So pause this video and have a go at that. And I'll give you a little bit of a, a warning. This one's a little bit more involved than you might expect. All right, so there's two ways to approach this. Either we can try to re-express the numerator where it involves an x plus two somehow, or we could try to do algebraic long division. So let me do the first way. So x squared plus one, it's not obvious that you can factor it out, but can you, can you write something that has x plus two as a factor and interestingly enough has no first degree terms because we don't want some first degree weird first degree terms sitting up there. And the best thing that I could think of is constructing a difference of squares using x plus two. So we know that x plus two times x minus two is equal to x squared minus four. So what if we were to write x squared minus four up here and then we would just have to add five to get to plus one. So what if we were to write x squared minus four and then we write plus five. This expression and that expression up there, those are completely equivalent. But why did I do that? Well, now I can write x squared minus four as x plus two times x minus two. And so then I could rewrite this entire expression as x plus two times x minus two, all of that over x plus two, plus five plus five over x plus two. And now as long as x does not equal negative two, then we could divide the numerator and the denominator by x plus two. And then we would be left with x minus two plus five over x plus two. And I'll put that little constraint if I want to say that this expression is the same as that first expression. For x does not equal for x not equaling negative two. And so here, we'd say, hey, x squared plus one divided by x plus two is x minus two, and then we have a remainder of five. A remainder of five. Now let's do the same question, or try to rewrite this using algebraic long division. We'll see that this is actually a little bit more straightforward. So we are going to divide x plus two into x squared plus one. Now when I write things out, I like to be very careful with my, I guess you could say, my different places for the different degrees. So x squared plus one has no first degree term. So I'm gonna write the one out here. So second degree, no first degree term, and then we have a one, which is you could view as our zero degree term or our constant term. And so we do the same drill. How many times does x go into x squared? We'll just look at the highest degree terms here x goes into x squared x times, that's first degree, so I put in the first degree column. x times two is two x, x times x is x squared, and now we wanna subtract, and so what is this going to be equal to? We know the x squareds can cancel out, and then I'm gonna be subtracting negative two x from, you could view this as plus zero x up here, plus one, and so you're left with negative two x, and then we bring down that one plus one. X goes into negative two X, negative two times, put that in the constant column. Negative two times two is negative four. And then negative two times X is negative two X. Now we have to be very careful here because we wanna subtract the negative two X minus four from the negative two X plus one. We could view it as this, or we could just distribute the negative sign, and then this will be positive two x plus four, and then the two x's, the two x and the negative two x cancels out. One plus four is five, and there's no obvious way of dividing x plus two into five, so we would call that the remainder, exactly what we had before. When we divided with algebraic long division, we got x minus two, x minus two, with a remainder of five.